Hey you guys, so video game streaming is a great hobby or even profession to get into, but unfortunately there is a dark side to the industry which doesn't get mentioned enough, so we're going to talk about that today. Hello again guys, welcome once again to OneCoin and today I'm here with another video. This is not meant to be negative at all, but unfortunately the industry, as good as it is, does come with a few downsides. It's important to mention them, at the end of the day I just want you guys to be prepared and know what to expect. Uh, as fun as streaming is, we get to play video games, we get to meet awesome people. Unfortunately, it does come with its own stress and pressure. If you can catch a hold of these things that I'm about to mention early, you'll be more well equipped and uh, you'll be able to uh, get your support network ready or, or do what you need to do in order to uh, sort these things out before they go out of control. So today's list is in no particular order, guys. Basically, all I'm doing is going point by point on some of the things that you should uh, look out for. Now the first thing I want to talk about as a downside to being a live streamer is the isolation. Now you might think this is kind of crazy because a lot of us are talking to hundreds if not thousands of people a day and you know what it's a great thing we get to meet a lot of awesome people. I've certainly met a couple people uh, on the live stream that I do consider friends for life but at the same time you do have to be careful. Uh, the first thing is, you know, talking to people online is not the same as face-to-face -face contact. You know, you still need to make sure you're keeping in touch with your friends, your family, and your loved ones behind the scene. And uh, also, you've also got to be careful because you're sitting in this chair sometimes seven days a week. You're not moving around, stretching your legs, getting fresh air, things like that. It can play on one's brain, you know what I mean? It can be really, really hard, especially over a long period of time. You guys know, apart from a couple quick vacations, I've pretty much been doing this for two and a half years. And it sometimes takes its toll on you with the whole isolation, just being in the one spot all the time. So it's something you need to be aware of, guys. Make sure you've got some life balance, you're taking those breaks. I sound like a complete hypocrite because I'm still learning how to myself, but at least I can tell you guys what not to do and how not to put extra pressure on yourselves. And, and keeping on the isolation topic, guys, sometimes it's very, very hard to know who your friends are, which is very, very isolating. Again, that's nothing personal or anyone that just comes with the internet or any entertainment job, you know what I mean? You might have someone be like, oh, I love you, you're amazing, and then the next day they'll be gone and you'll never see them again. Or uh, one minute you'll have someone support you and then the next minute they'll be on some kind of witch hunt or I hate the whatever page it is fan club, you know what I mean? Mean. These are just all pressures that come with what we do. Be on the lookout for that. As I said, make sure you have your support network ready. Now, another point I want to bring up today, guys, is the constant demand for content or your time. And as I said, guys, when you get into the streaming field, especially full time, there is literally no days off. And I mean, a day off can cost you supporters and followers. It's just such a, a cutthroat industry. Just because there's just such a, a massive amount of content on the internet, if you're not providing what's required of you, uh, people are gonna go and get it somewhere else. That's a lot of extra added pressure as well, so that's something you need to realize. It's gonna be straining, it's gonna take your toll on you. You're gonna have people be like, oh, when are you gonna come on and stream next? When are you gonna do this content? When are you gonna do that content? Oh, you should play that game, or you should make this video. And on the one side, it's really, really flattering because people are just very involved and enthusiastic about what you do. But at the end of the day, it can be very, very draining of your energy. So that's something you need to be aware of too. You know, you're going to start to feel like a robot a little bit if you don't take those countermeasures to relax and take a break. Again, I, I wish I could tell you guys when to take a break or how to take a break because this is something I'm struggling with myself. But again, this video is more of a warning of things to be on the lookout for if you're thinking of streaming or you are a streamer. And uh, I mean, you can basically use this video as a guide to whether you think you can handle it or not, I suppose. Um, but again, if we've got any extra solutions or any positive uh, feedback for anything that I've mentioned today, guys, please leave it down below. And uh, these things we can probably work through together. Now also with live streaming, guys, it does come with a lot of positivity and a lot of love, but it also does unfortunately come with a lot of negativity in uh, many forms, guys. You know, bullying, unfortunately, is in the forefront, or trolling, as we call it, on the internet when it comes to live streaming. And, uh, you know, again, unfortunately, humans are built for defense. I'm a true believer in that. So you can have, like, 99% of people uh, compliment you or be really, really encouraging on your product, but it just takes that one cent to kind of get your guard up a little bit, you know what I mean? And it can be super draining over a long period of time, even if it's only a select few people. So I just do recommend to the people on the internet to be kind. This is not as easy as what you think it is. And uh, don't judge someone until you walk a day in their shoes. Also, some of the other negativity 
uh, to look out for in this department, guys, is not even necessarily the bullying or the trolling. It's just, uh, you know, some people can be a little bit over demanding on comments, like, why don't you read my comment? Why don't you get this? Or why don't you check my message and things like that? You know, at the end of the day, we're only doing the best we can. You know, most of us try to be really, really engaging in the chat. Uh, but you know, again, when you're being pulled in all sorts of different directions by people when you're already giving 100%, uh, that can be quite daunting as well. And again, guys, this video is not supposed to be negative or a downer or anything. I just had to be really, really honest and real about the things that the streamers do go through every day. Again, just to educate the audience and also, as I also mentioned before, uh, to let other streamers know what they're getting into so they can just prepare to prepare themselves, more or less. You know, one of the biggest life lessons we're given is that we shouldn't care what people think but unfortunately when you're an entertainer of any kind whether you're a streamer an actress a musician whatever you are in the business of caring what people think the funnest times of streaming i honestly think are in the early days when you're just hanging out with a few people once it becomes a career it is still absolutely awesome but i'm not going to lie and say ratings are not in the forefront whether it's always learning new trends playing what people want trying to keep the facebook algorithm happy all those kind of things it's just something that always plays on your mind 24 7 and it, it, again, this is another overwhelming thing. Uh, I think when you're constantly always trying to keep the Facebook business or the YouTube business or wherever you're streaming and, and the audience happy, uh, the lines blur between what's your professional life and your personal life. You can start taking it to heart when you're not keeping everyone happy and it's very, very easy to base your value of your business and your personal life uh, if you're not careful, especially when that's all you do 24-7, you know what I mean? So it's pretty dangerous, guys. This is something you need to be really cautious of. You know, being an entertainer of any kind, comes with its stress and anxiety. I feel like in the stream world though, it makes me very, very nervous to take a day off. I found a lot of the times when I've taken days off, I've lost subs or followers or things like that. I do remember, for example, when I took my last vacation, I came back. It took me pretty much a whole month to get back to where I was. I don't know if that was just the time of the year or the circumstances involved with taking a break. But either way, it was detrimental. Most other jobs you work, you can take your holiday, come back, pick up where you left off. Not in the stream industry, not in the entertainment industry. Out of sight, out of mind. I feel like in this line of work, you always have to be on camera to be relevant. I don't know how to balance that. This is something I really need to warn you of though, guys. You know, again, I can only speak from the heart and be honest, and that's definitely another pressure in what we do on a day-to-day -day basis being a streamer. We have to be on the camera as much as we can. And I think, part of the reason why we have to be on the camera as much as we can. Again, people think all we do is turn on the camera, play video games. It's not that hard. They don't see the prior preparation. The reality is, you know, we might do a three or a four hour stream, but honestly, I can promise you when you're constantly reading comments, focusing on a game, being 10 times your personality on camera, it's incredibly draining. Working three or four hours is like working eight hours on camera. I truly, truly believe that. And uh, you know, when I'm on camera six plus hours a day, plus doing the behind the scenes stuff, it can drive you absolutely crazy. And, and again, this is another pressure of being a live streamer, guys. And again, sorry to be cynical, guys, but one other thing I do need to warn you about is sometimes some people with ulterior motives. And uh, you know, it's good if you're part of a community uh, you should always pay it for, you know, for myself, you know, sometimes we'll do a charity stream. I like to pop into other streams, send like super chats or star donations, things like that, and give back because the community has given me so much. But I'm a big believer in life that you give without expecting anything in return. And being a live streamer, you're going to have people that are like uh, giving you whether it's attention or donations. It's not always with pure intention, but a lot of the time people are doing these things because they'll be like, Oh, hey, I'm a streamer. Can you help me build my page? It just sometimes comes with a hidden agenda. Again, you can't help to, to take it personally. Sometimes you're like, Oh, does this person not really enjoy what I do? Or do they not want to be my friend? Especially once you become a bigger page, you're probably going to see this more and more often. I wouldn't class myself as a big page, but we do have a lot of followers now on Facebook. And I've just noticed over the last three or four months been a few more challenges especially when it comes to handling certain matters yeah again as I said I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer but I do have to be very very real and, and warn you guys on some things to look out for even if it's not always a, the popular thing to hear but anyway guys sorry if I've sounded a little bit negative in this video but I just feel like I'd be uh, doing a disservice to the community if I wasn't you know 100% honest uh, with what goes through the minds of, of certain streamers I talk to a lot of other streamers these are all the challenges they face as well. 
But uh, a lot of the people in the community are too afraid to speak up. So, you know, I thought I'd just make this video just to let the community know what we go through on a day-to-day -day basis, but also warn inspiring streamers about some of the challenges we have as well. I'm not trying to scare you away from streaming or anything. A lot of people get into this, think they're going to make $100,000, they're going to lead Ninja Lifestyle, and that everything's going to be like a rose garden. It really isn't. I mean, it takes a lot of years to work up to that point, and there's absolutely no guarantees as well. As I said, I can work in this industry full-time, and I I can put some food in my belly and a roof over my head. However, I can also promise you guys, despite the fact that I'm doing one of the most fun jobs in the world playing video games, I'm doing a lot more work to earn this money now than what I ever did when I was working a regular job. As I said, it's not just about the money. I just, the, my point being here with this video, you know, the life of a streamer is not the cruisy, glamorous lifestyle that you may all think. I guess that was the point of this video and I just wanted to use this as an educational prop again. Guys, thank you again for watching. I hope you took something out of this and and uh, much love, guys. I will see you all again on the next stream.